Hey, blessings, precious, precious prayer warriors, church family. God bless you on this Lord's Day. We got to get ready for church in a little bit, but let's go ahead and have our prayer time. Amen. Today is Sunday, August 13th. Let's look at our list here. Today we're praying for Honduras. 9.3 million population, 27.4% evangelical Christians, number seven on your map. They're saying, praise the Lord that the team serving have given mobilization kits to near roughly 300 pastors. Please pray that everything goes well and that the pastors can understand the significance of the kits Pray that these pastors would be grateful for this new tomb, tool, excuse me, not tomb, and partner with us into the future. Amen. All right, now we go to two states for uh, the United States, number 13 and 14. New Mexico, 2 million population, 23% evangelical Christian. North Dakota, only 762,000, 22%. Evangelical Christians, we're praying for the disabled today, but every Sunday we pray for church, our church service and everywhere that the gospel is being preached. Amen. Our Bible reading is Romans chapter 12. Come on, verse 1 and 2, probably the most important verses for us. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, not God don't want no dead meat, amen? Holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service or the least that we can do. And here's the scripture. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. I believe it's the NLT that says, by changing the way you think. Is that good? By changing the way you think. All right, let's go ahead and pray today. Lord, we come before you in Jesus' name on this, the Lord's day, the first day of our week, the day that Jesus rose from the dead, the great resurrection. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you on this day that we can have church, that we can fellowship, that we can meet others that we're gonna live forever with. Oh, we look so forward to that day, Lord. I know I do, and I believe many others are looking up as we live in this warp speed days, as we're seeing scripture being fulfilled all around us, Lord. And we praise you and honor you on this day. Lord, I pray for my nation. Oh, I see these videos of this lawlessness, and I wonder how bad it's going to get. Oh, Lord, I thank you for your protection. We speak Psalm 91 over ourselves, Lord, over our children, over our families. Protect us as we see lawlessness in government and we see lawlessness. Of course, what's up there is going to spread out into the nation. We see people just going into stores, robbing people, watching this girl on a bike and the guy just came and took the bike and she's screaming and yelling and nobody's helping her. We see shootings, Lord, not just here in America. In France yesterday, two cars going by, boom, 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 boom. Oh, what a world of lawlessness, Lord. Help us, Lord, help people to see things aren't gonna get better. Things are gonna get darker out there, but they're getting much better for us Christians because we are looking up our redemption draws nigh. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come. We lift up New Mexico before you. We lift up North Dakota before you. And we pray for these states, almighty God. And we pray for our nation. We lift up the government. We lift up businesses. We lift up arts and entertainment. We lift up media. We lift up the church. We lift up education. We lift up family and marriages. We pray for the different spheres of influence in our nation. We pray for this United States of America. Lord, help our leaders. I can't believe what this one party, we know what that party is, has said and is doing to our nation. As our great president Abraham Lincoln said, 
This nation will never be destroyed from without. If it's to be destroyed, it'll be destroyed from within. Lord, we look at what happened to Rome and every other civilization, every other nation that was great, and every other empire that was great. And it was the immorality, it was the rot on the inside that caused it on the outside. And we're seeing this in America. We pray for people in our nation, Lord, that they would come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Lord, we lift up our world. We pray for Honduras and we pray for the pastors of these packages that are going to them, Lord, that they'll see the value of it and use it to glorify the King, to get many saved, to help evangelize and to disciple believers, Lord. Lord, we lift up our world. We're looking at a world that's in chaos, Lord. Wars and rumors of wars. We see what's going on with China and Taiwan. We see the little dictator up there in North Korea saying, let's prepare for war with South Korea. We see Japan. We see Russia, Ukraine, 10,000 Polish troops sent to the border. Belarus, all these things. Wars and rumors of wars. We see Syria, Lebanon, Israel, Hezbollah, Iran, wars and rumors of wars. We see America sending troops all over the place, wars and rumors of wars. We keep our eyes upon you, Lord. They drop the nuke, Lord, would be in your presence. Hallelujah! There is no fear for you have taken that away from us, Lord. There's no fear of death. And Lord, you gave us inside information of what was going to happen. So we keep our eyes steady on you, Lord. We lift up the disabled today, Lord, and we pray for them today, Lord. And we pray for strength upon them that they would receive Christ as their Lord and Savior also, Lord. Now, Lord, we lift up our church services before you. And we thank you that Jesus be glorified even on a hard subject that I'm going to teach today on hell, Lord, that you'll bring it forth, that we'll see the responsibility we have as Christians to invite others into the kingdom of God. We pray for every church service around our world that's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. We pray for those in Hawaii, Lord, that might not have a church today, Lord. We pray that maybe they'll meet in a parking lot in that paradise nation. Maybe they'll meet wherever, Lord, and still proclaim the name of Jesus. We pray for those people that lost everything. I pray for their salvation, Lord. Many are going to lose everything as we move on in this antichrist system, but we keep our eyes upon you. You said, set our affection on things above and not on things of this earth. That's what we do. We love you, sir. We praise you on this new day, the Lord's day. We honor you, exalt you, love you. We lift up the prayer cards. I almost forgot. We lift up our brothers and sisters in every need that they have, Lord. We thank you, thank you for needs being met. We pray today that many will be healed and many will be touched by the power of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey! God is good. Amen. Let's be like Jesus. Let's do all we can to keep people out of that place of torment, hell. Amen. God bless.